Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning. Hey, everybody. It's Adam here. On today's adventure, we are going to Phoenix, Arizona. Now, I've been to Phoenix multiple times in my life, although I don't think I have... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I've ever taken you guys to Phoenix, even briefly, at any point on this channel, or even Arizona as a whole. So, cool. We're going to add a new state, at least as far as video purposes go. Um, I'm going there for the purposes of a convention called Game On, where I, was a, I am a guest, so they were cool enough to bring me out for that, so it'll be a lot of fun. Currently, I'm at O'Hare, and I'm in the, um, you know, basically the entryway, uh, like after you get off the train. And they put the flags back. These are like the sister city flags. The only reason I'm pointing that out is because those were there forever. Then they took them all down. And I haven't been here in such a long time, which is weird to think about, that they're actually back now. So I'm just going to point at Canada because there it is. Oh, look, there's Mexico. We went to Mexico. Go see the video about Mexico. Well, stick around and finish this one first, please. Thank you. All right. We are all checked in, dropped my bag off. So it's time to go through security. And for the first time in... Oh, all too long. I had to use the clear lane and go right through. So let's let's do this. Split security, no problems whatsoever. And so now we're gonna kill a little time before the flight over at the club lounge. You guessed it. All right, we are officially in Phoenix. Uh, and uh, I have to go get my bag and head over to the con and all that. However, I do have a few minutes before I do that, so I was actually United Club here. I'm gonna stop in there and get some coffee and then head out. I've never been in this particular club lounge before, but it's pretty cool. It even has a gelato machine, which I think is very, very neat, or a gelato station. Regardless, I've got what I came for, some coffee. Now let's go. So uh, PHX uh, is not a very big United presence, though it's significantly changed since the last time I was here, but I think they did some remodeling. I believe it is actually an American Airlines hub, so typically if you're flying here, here, it's probably on them unless you you know are coming from a different hub we're in my room and there's some nerd already here but uh, yeah this is a pretty nice little room TV's already on I had nothing to do with that ooh coffee machine definitely gonna make use of that and we can see gray Phoenix you see there's water droplets I don't know if you can see them on camera but it's actually raining here and for Phoenix that's really weird <laughs> but uh, yeah we're basically in the center of downtown Phoenix PHX, I think right there is actually the convention center, but I'm not 100% on that. It might be in the, no, that's gotta be a hotel because there's a pool. So it's gotta be on the other side. Anyway, we're gonna head over there and try to get in. Okay, it was raining, it's chaotic, but we got inside. Uh, I've got my guest badge here and uh, we're gonna explore a little bit. Uh, this isn't just video games as far as like collecting and buying stuff, obviously that's a thing, but we have, they have live music, live competitions. There's actually live wrestling here, arcade machines, all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's Patrick, I need to talk to him. So this is cool, they have like a big section for like voice actors um, and body actors for video games. So, like you got the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, voice of Zelda. We actually have the, the GTA actors, Baldur Force, or Baldur Gate actors, lots of anime stuff too, which you know, not my thing, but you know, more power to you. Um, some of my buddies on the other side, like Paul Nemeyer, who I know you guys know from some of these videos, Mortal Kombat logo creator, some of the actual Mortal Kombat body actors. But yeah, a uh, bunch of people I didn't even know were going to be here. But like I said, oh, David Hayter is here. He's the guy who uh, voiced, you know, Snake and uh, Metal Gear Solid and all that. Red Dead Redemption actors. But yeah, GTA people. Very cool. Very cool. You guys remember Paul? He's what? back. What? No. I, I, can you recreate this little like presidential pose you've got going on behind you? <laughs> yeah, just do it. Just give me that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Niemeyer 2024. <laughs> all right, booth is set up. We got the Sega Pluto all good to go. As a bonus, I brought the Atari Jaguar dental unit. And we're running it on a CRT this time, a PVM specifically. The con is getting more and more available. The Red Bull section is nice. You know, maybe grab one of those later. Um, but yeah, we have all sorts of, there's lots of tabletop stuff here too, which is not really my thing, but it's nice that it's there. And uh, yeah, this place is gonna get much, much busier over the weekend. So it's about time for my panel and I'm joined here by Dave and Patrick from Saturn Shiro. They were cool enough to join me. And as you can see, it is an absolutely packed madhouse. Yeah, no, it's more accurately a ghost town. <laughs> Hopefully people show up, otherwise we're just gonna leave. <laughs> so the panel actually went all right. We had a couple of super fans in there. It wasn't exactly advertised, but we did broadcast live and that seemed to do a lot better. So we're taking most of our questions from there. It was a fun discussion though. We were largely talking about video game demographics and economics with video games. It was a fun history discussion too. Day one of the con has wrapped. Uh, so now I'm actually heading back over to my hotel 
where I'm just gonna kind of chill and relax because I'm exhausted because I had to get up early. I was not I'm not used to doing like the full, the wake up, the flight, the con, and the, the panel all in the same day, uh, especially with no coffee. I had to I had to drink a Red Bull. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So this wins the award for accidental best cosplay. Somebody took an actual old cop car and turned it into an Umbrella Corp Resident Evil cop car. That's a win. Good morning. It is day two here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today it's looking a lot more like Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> uh, so now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get myself together uh, and, you know, figure out a nice breakfast spot. Uh, this is making, I, I feel bad because like we're not going to do a whole lot in Phoenix per se, but it's making me go like, you know what, Phoenix is cool, I should come back and do a video on Phoenix like proper, like, you know, with the evil Rob Thanos or something like that. We'll come back, we'll see, we'll see. Downtown Phoenix is very interesting. Like, I haven't seen downtown Phoenix in a long time because uh, the last, I've only been to Phoenix a couple of times as an adult, but it was always just kind of like, you know, outside of Phoenix. I haven't actually spent time downtown, downtown. It's very interesting to see, because obviously you have a lot of this kind of stereotypical, like, Arizona-style art, if you want to call it that, kind of mixed in. It's like, I don't know, it feels like a very western city, because it is, but it's not a west coast city. I, it's, it's a vibe. <laughs> you know, I don't know, it's something I think you'd have to actually experience. Also very weird to be here when it's kind of cold. I can't stress enough how bizarre that is for Phoenix. So I found a place near the hotel called Ingo's Burritos, or Ingo's. It was rated 4.7 out of 5. It's open, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. And so I ordered a chorizo burrito. That's, that was like my big thing. I also got some deviled eggs because, I don't know, you don't see those very often. At least I don't. So Ingo's was pretty good. Um, the eggs were solid. I haven't had deviled eggs in a long time. And I, I know I said that you don't see them very often. I don't see them very often on menus, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's not like you can't find deviled eggs in places. They were good. Um, and the breakfast burrito, I've had better ones. Like, L.A. is where the best breakfast burritos I've ever had in my life are. But those were very good, and I guess it should have been obvious, like, you're in Arizona, like, sort of stick to the Mexican cuisine type of vibe. That's what they're pretty good at, for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, solid. Would recommend. All right, so we're back inside the convention center. Um, this time, a little more organized. <laughs> Yesterday was kind of chaos, especially in the rain, but they've kind of figured it out a little bit. Also, with guest passes, you can just kind of, well, you can't see it from there, but uh, you can kind of skip a lot of that. It, but the point is, yesterday there wasn't a special line for that. Now there is. Once you get inside, you can see all this artwork, and then you head down, and that's where the con is. Now, funny enough, there's some sort of card show going on at the same time. It's, it's funny how cons, like, you know, facilities like this will have multiple conventions going at once. So then you can see this, like, border check, and then it's over to uh, Game On, which, of course, is what we're all about. We are officially back inside the dealer room now. Again, the con has not opened yet, so it's just kind of, you know, people who've got the quote-unquote special badges that get to come in at this point. But uh, we'll go schmooze a bit. Some of my Mortal Kombat buddies are over there. Maybe I'll chat with them. Don't know. We'll see. I'm going to explore a little, because I didn't really get to do as much yesterday as I want. But today should be a little bit more leisurely. So a small update. We are going to be moving the location of our table because we're surrounded by a tournament. No one can hear us and everyone just thinks we're part of the tournament. Whereas there's a nice quiet area with other YouTubers that we could just be hanging in and people could chat with us. So we're making the move. So we brought the table over and Patrick held it from behind and I grabbed it like this, but I'm double jointed. So I was like awkwardly holding it and uh, got a lot of stares. You guys saw it, right? When I was walking with the table, double jointed. Yeah, you have your bandits yeah, on. You're like possessed, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that got a lot of stares. Yeah, yeah it's it's well, I can't right here. Hold the camera. Yeah. I'll show everybody what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, okay, so lift it up like normal. But no, that see that's not normal. And then I can just do this thing. Yeah, the fact that you can pray behind your back. That's oh, yeah, I can clap behind my back. It's the whole thing. Oh. oh can okay. you not? Adam, Adam, do that again. High five from the back. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have relocated. We're in a corner. This is Max, aka Lil Welfare, from my Discord, and we are much. We have much more attention over here, and we're next to the Johns. We stole all of your traffic. I am sorry, guys. No. You, they wanted us here, and now they are both silently regretting it. I know, look, look at this huge line. Yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so guess who's back? We got Tim Kitzrow. You guys know him from uh, a lot of different things, but probably most likely from my channel and my very low viewed videos that he was in. He did a couple of cameos, that's where you know him. What? They couldn't be from NBA Jam or you anything. You got my name and likeness in your <laughs> You volunteered it. I did not. I mean, hey, get this guy out of here. I'm just kidding. Adam, you are a cool dude, but you still owe me money, dude. <laughs> well, you that. <laughs> so the show's going well. Uh, we just actually watched a uh, panel. 
I yeah. almost never get to do that at cons. What was the panel about, Adam? It was about the Dreamcast. Who knew what I would care about that? Which was yeah. actually really yeah. funny because I sit down and the guy who's hosting it, he's like, oh my god, are you Adam Corlick? Which was really funny because we had talked 20 minutes prior. Yeah. And when we talked, I was like, wait, wait, wait. So you recognize me, but you don't remember talking to me 20 minutes ago. He's like, it's been a long day. And I was like, yes. I don't blame him. Was, we just had to do a bunch of CRTs and stuff it, too earlier, right? It was funny, but occasionally he would, like, ask us a question and be like, is that true or not? Uh, anyway, yeah. Oh, sorry. There you go. There you go. Anyway, so, yeah, it's been fun. We're heading back to our table now, which, by the way, the location we moved ourselves to, far superior because within like two seconds of being set up, we already had people asking us like, hey, I like your channel. Hey, let's take out the Pluto, all that stuff. Whereas where we were before, everyone just thought we worked at the tournament. So wait, 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 where's the where's Mario Kart? Yeah, you can play. Mario Kart is this the Mario Kart tournament? Can you play it on the Jaguar dental equipment? No! But here's a bonus, guys. I'm here with Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, he had me sign this, which I guess you printed out like everybody's thing, which was nice of you to do. He also made this custom Dreamcast that I signed right there, which is nice. And uh, I guess I'm about to record some VO of my own intro, which is going to be a challenge because I don't remember what it says. But <laughs> I'll do it. Hey guys, it's Adam here from Figured Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. This is a video of some kind. I'm not lying. It is a video of some kind. There is a video. So we're about to do another panel. I'm crashing theirs because they crashed mine. And this time there's actually people here, which is nice. Hi, people. You're awesome. <laughs> there's more coming. There's more coming. Sit in the front rows. Yeah. We can do more like a family here because it is going to be a small one, but at least that way we can hear your questions easier. If you have any. I don't. Okay. So that second panel went very well. It's lots of people in that one, had a lot of good times, and uh, very happy, very happy with the turnout for that. So, yeah, made up for the fact <laughs> that not too many people were able to get to the first one. I don't even know if I said this earlier. It turns out part of the reason a lot of people come, couldn't come to the first one is that the show opened late, not because they were late, but just because like the, the time frame was different. And uh, most people were stuck outside in the line. So by the time, we had a lot of people coming up today be like, I wanted to go to your panel, but I couldn't because like we physically couldn't get in the building. So that, you know, honestly made me feel better. But uh, a lot of them showed up today, so that was good. Good morning, it is day three here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I just got up and that means it's time for food. Uh, so before the con starts, of course, and I'm gonna go over to this place that I don't recall the name of, but here I'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. I think it's called like the Breakfast Club, which I guess I should remember for John Hughes reasons. Uh, anyway, uh, it was highly rated and typically my strategy in these places where I don't like have a ground game plan of any kind or a local that's gonna recommend anything or not a place that I'm overly familiar with, uh, I typically just go to Google and I'm like, okay, restaurant wise, what do you recommend that's like 4.5 stars or higher and like what's available right now? Then you kind of explore the menu and see what's up. You guys know me, I'm a little bit of a food snob. Little bit, just little bit. And uh, so, no, I'm not going to like Burger King or anything. Let's, 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 let's eat something local, something nice. Let's do this. Just an observation, it's, it's like 8 a.m. <laughs> but downtown Phoenix is like completely dead. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I mean, yes, it's a Sunday, I suppose, but wow, still. A little just interesting. Ooh, Breakfast Club. It's up there. Let's go. So I've made my decision. I'm going to get what's called the whole hog omelet, and it comes with all that good stuff, and I'm going to add queso, because why not? But I will admit, this looked very, very tempting. Very, very, very tempting. But no, whole hog. Okay, so this came, like, immediately, but here it is. Food's here. We've got the whole hog uh, omelet. We've got some potatoes that go with it, fruit, obviously, and it looks like ketchup as well. Let's go. Food is pretty good. It wasn't like amazing or anything. I have to admit the service was very, very good. It was like almost instantaneous when I got my food. Uh, but yeah, it was a solid omelet. I was happy with that. The potatoes were very good. Uh, and the fruit was fruit. But you know, nothing groundbreaking, but definitely a solid meal experience. Is it just me or does this come off like a subtle jab at Las Vegas? I don't know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Hey guys, so this is Tony at Electric Adventures. Hey, you how you going? Yeah, he's Australian. Can you tell based on how he talks? Do I sound Australian? Can you say mate? Hey, mate. There you go. Perfect. At some point on this channel, I'm going to return to Australia and go check out you know, like what you're doing. We're going to hang out probably. Yeah. He's actually in Tasmania. I've so been to Tasmania. So it's extra travel. Yes. Well worth it. It is. And fun fact for my fellow Americans, Tasmania is not a fictional land where just a Looney Tunes character comes from. It actually is real. Yeah, and we have the second deadly snake in the world, one of the most deadly spiders in the world. So you can have lots of fun. 
and, and 20 varieties plus of um, poisonous mushrooms. That's a lot less enticing than it used to be. Actually, I remember when I was a kid there, so I do have a story about this. When I was a kid, my mom took us down to, we landed in Hobart, which is the big city in Tasmania, uh, and we stayed on this ranch. I sheared a sheep. It was like a whole thing. But the coolest part, and this will sound sick to a lot of you, there was a petting zoo, which you actually know what I'm talking about. This petting zoo, you could pet wallabies and stuff, and then you could go into a restaurant that was also run by the petting zoo where they served wallabies. Yep, so you can eat the things you just paid. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> we have yet another familiar face. I'm sure a lot of you know. It's, it's, Happy it's, it's, Console it's Gamer. And if you only watch the Travel Channel, he was in an episode of Vancouver. You remember that? You came over, and we went for burgers. You were not impressed. You had pickles, and you didn't like them. I did not like pickles. No, no he doesn't like pickles. What at do all. I like in, in, in Canada, though? Like, what's. Um, you like East Indian food? I do. And so the next time you come back, I'm going to take you to the best East Indian food place that exists. I'm looking forward Merch to it. Merch Masala. It's unbelievable. And I just want to say, look what I just picked up. What did you get? The, uh, Chris Dallas, box mint, 60 bucks. That seems like a deal. That is a deal and a half for a game this old, for sure. So, Started playing when I was like 16 years old, so I'm 50 now. I'm old. You really are. I am. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. You look, hey, you look worse than me. So. I do. I really do. <laughs> like, I just had this trim before that. I looked like, well, I looked like Hancock, actually. <laughs> <laughs> So today has been going pretty well. We've had a lot of people coming up, asking us questions, talking to us. I've been signing a lot of stuff. Really, location, location, location. Where we were the other day just was bad, but now it's been great. So it's been a lot of fun. I need some energy. I've had a couple of coffees, but this, this event is sponsored by Red Bull. Not by me. I'm not sponsored by Red Bull. I'd love Red Bull, if you're watching, I'd love to take your money. But um, no. <laughs> so I'm going to go get a free Red Bull. But they've got, like, regular ones, and they've got, like, special free other ones. This is flying and eating sorghum, so it you know, counts, right? Red Bull. Special fruity Juneberry Red Bull. I swear this is not sponsored by Red Bull. I'm just really thirsty and it's free. All right, so we actually left the con. Dave's still with me. Uh, but yeah, we're over now at PHX. We're back at the airport. It's time to go home. I'm going to Chicago, obviously, and you're going off to San Diego. San Diego. He's a, he flew on Southwest. Judge him, because I do. Anyway, your penance for flying southwest is you're in the wrong terminal. Good luck. All right, so I checked my bag in over there, and now we have to go through security. I f assume they have a clear lane here, but I guess I don't know that, so we will find out shortly, won't we? Aha, they do have a clear lane. Victory. All right, cleared security. No problems whatsoever. So now I'm going to go kill some time over at the club lounge. So once you're upstairs, it's kind of a nice little area. Nothing, nothing crazy special. I'm down there in the E-Gates. That's where United is. But, uh... I don't even think I showed you guys the Pluto when it was up in action. Sorry about that, but uh, we should go take a Pluto photo while we're here. This will have to suffice for a nice Arizona photo because I just didn't have access to like go to some nice part of Phoenix or get a scenic shot, but there you go. The, uh, the Pluto has been to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, back at the club. Let's go in. Let's get some food. So this one we got a vegetable spread, sandwiches, and then we got like taco components. Now I gotta find plates. Just a reminder, this club lounge has a gelato machine, so I just made myself a coffee gelato. That's cool. Okay, I know it's gluttonous, but they have German chocolate cake, so whatever. And I am home back in Chicago, back at O'Hare. Uh, so that'll pretty much do it here. So I want to give a huge shout out to John Lester, also known as Deemster81, YouTuber. He's the one who actually coordinated and runs Game On. He invited me out there. Huge shout out to him. The show was awesome. Would love to go back. It was fantastic. Just too short. It's always too short. I, I would have loved to have spend more time out there and do more in Phoenix. And hopefully we can do that in the future. Plan it a little better, you know? But anyway, uh, so that'll do it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you guys could please check out the description. Uh, follow me on all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, Spreadshirt, etc. As well as just do the basics. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done that before. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.